Oh, I taste a little of my mask in my water. That's okay. We just won't do that again. Hi guys, I'm Lo Bosworth. I'm the founder and CEO of Love Wellness, and this is Masked and Answered with Marie Claire. Okay, so the mask that I am doing today is by Pharmacy, and it is Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. It's awesome. It literally is like sticky like honey on your face. It is very fun and it smells good too. Uh, what's cool is that it's blended with products from bees, honey, propolis, and royal jelly, which is rich in amino acids. So what I like to do is kind of get a little bit all over. The mask is actually activated by sort of rubbing it. It warms up a little bit. Um, so be prepared for that sensation. And you can see it start to change color a little bit. All right, I think that's sufficient. Okay, so first things first, you guys wanna know about my morning skincare routine. And it has become much more simple over the past few years. I have really reduced the number of products I use. So here they are. The first product that I put on is Hyaluronic Serum by Dr. Devkin. She is an amazing plastic surgeon here in New York City, and she has her scientific beauty line. So all of the ingredients are medical grade quality. And I've tried a lot of Hyaluronic Serum, and this bad boy is absolutely amazing. We'll get it nice and in close for you guys to check it out. Next, and I'm, I literally cannot say this name, Shiseido. <laughs> I've never been able to say this correctly. This is my eye and lip cream, Future Solution LX. I'm somebody that always wakes up with puffy eyes, but like not necessarily underneath, but like the, the hood of my eyes is always puffy. And this is the first eye cream that I have actually used that helps to kind of take the puff away. And if you deal with this, you know how challenging it is. So this is a pretty expensive eyeball cream, but I think it's worth it because it's one of the only ones that has ever actually worked for me. Then I top it all off with my Kula Sun Drops. This is my favorite sunscreen because it goes on like so silky and it's actually called Sun Silk Drops and your makeup goes on top really, really nice. Um, I always really struggled to find a sunscreen that I liked that makeup could be applied nicely on top of and this absolutely it takes the cake. So it's just those three products. That's my morning skincare routine. My favorite at home beauty ritual. It's not really a beauty ritual, it's more of a self-care ritual, and it is to take a bath. Sometimes I take two baths a day. I know, I'm crazy. One of my favorite bath products is Off the Beaten Path, Dr. Singa's Mustard Bath. And you will not be happy with how your bathtub looks after you use it, but it is amazing stuff. It's very spa-like. Let me open it up and try to show it to you guys without getting it into my glass of water. Can you guys see the inside of this? There we go. There's the mustard powder. I just don't want it to spill everywhere. It's an amazing product. It smells so nice. I love it. Okay, next. As the owner of a personal care company for women, we make a lot of issue-specific supplements. And I take our product Sparkle Fiber, not only to aid with digestion and bloating, but also for clear skin. Yes, fiber is a critically important element to having your face glow because fiber helps remove toxins from the body and then your face looks glorious. So here is Sparkle Fiber. It is our reinvention of fiber. It contains soluble and insoluble fiber. So what we wanted to do when we developed this product was make it really easy to take. So goodbye powders, hello capsules. I'm not really ever been like a big lotion girl, but recently this brand, I think it's called Necessaire, Necessaire, I don't know. It's in French, uh, sent me this body serum and I have been absolutely loving it. It is hyaluronic acid, just like the serum that I put on my face. Uh, and it really hydrates my skin in a way that lotion does not. And I never really liked lotion because it like, these kind of sticky in the humidity in the city. It like comes off really easy, but not this. So it's time to take the mask off. Oh, I think it's nice. See it coming up? It's kind of gross, actually. <laughs> so whenever I use this mask, my skin is always a little bit 
red for a period of time afterwards. Um, I have sensitive skin, but it goes down really quickly. My face always feels really soft and sort of like plumped at the same time afterwards. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching Masked and Answered with me. Now it's your time to mask and chill. Also, one more thing. Don't forget to subscribe to Marie Claire's YouTube channel and leave us a comment on the mask you are loving right now in the comments section. Bye.